I enjoy movement mechanics in my video games. No matter what it is, something that makes me go extremely fast for no apparent reason always makes the game better, even if it wasn't intentional. Something like levitation in the original Psychonauts is my favorite type of mechanic. If something that was made to help you traverse levels ends up being game-breaking if you know how to use them well, it makes me feel really happy. Lately, I feel like this charm is... lost. Games like Spider-Man PS4 don't make me feel like I'm going fast or doing something exciting. It's boring. If it's supposed to be about fun movement, let me go fast! Let me break the game! Recently on my Twitter feed, I found this post from a game developer asking if any content creators wanted a Steam key for their newest game. And you know, now I make content. Why not reach out? Oh, okay. Star Sign is a game about you finding your way back into the sky where you belong. That's it. That's all you get for a story. Have fun. If I can be honest, I, I do really like how the game doesn't explain anything to you. It just drops you into the world and lets you figure out what's going on. Did I figure out what was going on? No, not at all. But that didn't make the gameplay bad. It didn't affect it in any way, actually. Star Sign's main gimmick and the one thing the entire game is centered around is your ability to swing like Spider-Man. I know I brought up Spider-Man PS4 as a game with movement mechanics I don't like, but what separates Star Sign from Spider-Man PS4 is the sheer speed you can achieve with your swinging. You have a sprint that both works on the ground and while swinging, but while swinging though your stamina lowers incredibly fast if you use the boost. But if done properly, you'll still have enough boost to do whatever you want in this game. Along with your swing, you have the ability to slingshot yourself across the map. This one move lets you traverse so much ground, it's almost unreal. It's also not confined by just the ground, so you can use it in the middle of a swing to get more speed than you would have normally. This is what I mean by movement mechanics that let you break the game if done properly. It's fun. It's like a giant sandbox. Have you ever seen any of those baby sensory videos? I'm not talking about Cocomel and the affront of God that's slowly melting the brain of the youth. No, I'm talking about those videos about dancing fruit. Star Sign is like a playable baby sensory video, and I mean that in the nicest way possible. The game makes me feel safe. Something about it is just... calming. I'm not sure what it is, but I find myself getting lost while playing. I like floating around in space and slingshotting myself across great distances. I really like it. The game brings me in and... makes me zone out. Oh, my eyes! My eyes! <laughs> I fucking love Spongebob. It looks like Only Up if Only Up was baby sensory. Looks like Only Up if Only Up was good. <laughs> only Up if Only Up was a Korean spyware. Um, is, is it actually Korean spyware? No, but is it's it made by, like, Koreans. Is it made by Tencent? I don't think so, no. That would be pretty funny, though. Yeah, that, that's the new League of Legends. That, that's gonna be the new Valorant player. Operator? I don't fucking know. I don't play. I don't play Valorant. I'll tell me your ass would not speedrun this. Uh, I I would speedrun if I knew what the fuck to do. I need to, to, to fulfill my baby brain. I need sensor. to fulfill my baby brain. Goo goo guy. I mean, Mr. Squidward, you will play your daily baby sensory. <laughs> but Mr. Crab. How would you feel? If Plankton was the CEO of a uh, Coca Melon. That would make a lot of sense. Dude, I'm fumbling hard right now. Jesus Christ. What the fuck are you doing? Gambling. Yeah, I'm gambling at this very moment in time. Are you actually doing- are, are you fucking actually gambling? Yes. Night Dev, you don't have a job! It's like a Nick A30 or whatever the fuck his name is. Never back down, never what? Actually, never yeah, you're give right. up. Actually, you're right. This is like the best speed game I've ever played. Exactly. Look, look at this. Look at this movement. Hold on. Yeah, see? Look at that! Oh shit, Mr. No, no, no. Krabs, he's getting sick nasty! He's gonna be on a world record, me boy! No, 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 it's, uh, it's Plankton trying to get world record pay so that uh, uh, Mr. Krabs has to give him the formula. I don't understand how that would make him give... This they Sheldon bet the on formula. it. They bet on it. Yeah, they bet, they bet on, on it. it. They bet. Yeah, they bet like that they uh, Plankton could get a world record. He, like gave SpongeBob away. <laughs> For... Imagine you're like swinging around and you just find the hand. <laughs> you find like a severed hand and it starts going. Yeah. Please help me. <laughs> Let me become one with you, John Star Sign. Dude, okay, okay. What if you touch it and then you get like a tumor on your hand that talks to you? Like parasite. Yeah, literally, I'm Cthulhu. I relate so heavily to this. If anybody I've ever met ever says Cthulhu, I'm gonna fucking kill them. I'm being paid by the government to tell you to gamble your money away. When are we getting Star Sign Pro Skater? We, we are never getting Star Sign Pro Skater. Why not? I don't know. Don't fucking ask me. I'm not the game developer. Yeah, his name is John Star Sign. Unless the developer tells me what his name is, I'm just gonna start calling him John Star Sign. I think that's a better name. 
Like honestly, if there is a canon name, I think John Starsign might be better. Than John that. Starsign should be the canon name. You know, like it's like baby sensory, but like in a nice, good way. Yeah, it's not like fucking Coco Melon where it like assaults your ears. This is like I could get high as fuck and play this game and I would fall asleep. Guys, I don't need drugs to play this game, but they enhance the experience. Hey, I, I anybody watching this right now, uh, when you're watching this, when you're watching this, get high, get uh, take take drugs, play Star Sign. It Ooh, will enhance you. Take ketamine, take ketamine. I drew like a okay, fucked up, dark, evil version of Hamburger Health. Ugh. Oh, sorry, I fell asleep. Along with the base gameplay, there are orbs around the map that when interacted with, teleport you to a challenge. If you complete this challenge, you unlock an upgrade for one of your abilities. Extra slingshot uses, more stamina, that sort of thing. Some challenges involve you swinging through rings from island to island, while others involve you bunny hopping across long distances. I do not like the bunny hopping ones by any stretch of the imagination. I enjoy the controls a lot, but they don't work well with precise jumps. The challenges are optional, but I highly recommend completing them as the upgrades you will get will help you in the long run and help you do more wild rollouts across the map. If you've ever played those Flash games where you're a small spherical homunculi collecting either a target or candy, this is the game at its core. That's not a bad thing though, I loved these games when I was younger, so having a 3D version of it give or take is some pretty- it, it's fucking- it's really cool! Star Sign to me feels like one of the only games that get better the more you replay it. At the start when you can barely function or use your abilities well and you're just getting into the swing of things, if you go back to that area you'll see new things that you didn't see before. Star Sign's art style is very reminiscent of Risk of Rain 2. This weird, almost cell shaded but not really shader over the entire experience makes the world feel alien if done properly. Having you feel calm and safe in a weird otherworldly plane is an odd dichotomy that works well together. The environments are nice, the game knows what it is and the environment reflects that. Large mountains everywhere, floating platforms, long winding vines, tornadoes, I guess? If I haven't made it obvious, I love this game and everything it sets out to do. If you know what to do, you can break the game. There are no stakes, it just lets you roam around and you're a little ball guy! Who doesn't like little ball guys?! I highly recommend this game to anyone that likes movement. Genuinely, check it out. Link will be in the description. Please support the dev.